Hello everybody, this is Desrotech. Welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I'm unboxing a Ether Revolt pre-lease kit. It is in Korean, so I will try to translate what I can. And we're going to talk about what I pull from this pack. We're going to talk about the contents, the pre-lease card, and we're going to go to the uncommons and mythics and rares, and we'll see what's, what I pull out of this bad boy. Let's crack into it. And a wrapping. Here is the box. Where's the button? All right, got to take off the case first, right? There's the button. It says Misio. Misio. I guess that means push. Oh, I didn't push it. You see that? It opened up on its own. Didn't even have to push it. <laughs> Although it's a little bit stuck now. So, okay, I guess you do. There it goes. All right. <laughs> this fault thing is falling open. Green dice. Green, a symbol of power and magic. That is the uh, the might of the bear. Got a lot of those dice now. A couple of stuff. And we pulled the Syndicate Lord. I don't know, Edeborn Lord. Plus one, plus one to Edeborn. It's three, three for four. When the Edelborn leaves the battlefield under your control, you lose a life, draw a card. Including itself, by the way. Good card. I don't know. I like it. Not worth much money, though. Maybe a dollar. Alright, we got two Kaladesh packs for Ether Revolt. Let's crack into these. Let's start with Kaladesh first, because it's old news. And we will go to the uncommons and rares. Alright. So, starting out. Oh, Colossus. Good card. This thing spiked for a little bit. It was worth some money. 10-10. 11 mana. Construct. Good uh, tribal deck. Uh, Construct, it's has its mana cost is reduced by the number of artifacts, or the amount of the mana cost of artifacts you control. Not creatures, but artifacts that are not creatures. So, yeah, a lot of people play this. This is currently a, a thing that people are doing. Trying to rush it out. Sacrifice two artifacts and bring it back from your graveyard to your hand. So, interesting strategy. I've seen some people who put this in their graveyard early game with pieces of the puzzle or something, and then sacrifice two just generic artifacts that they have, two low casting cost artifacts, bring this back to their hand, and then drop this bad boy turn four or so. Yeah, it can be done. It can be done. There's things you can do with it. Next. Okay, oh, there's the uncommons. Blossom Defense, great card. Plus two, plus two hexproof for a green. Can't go wrong. Syndicate Trafficker. Sacrifice an artifact, gets plus one, plus one. Pay one to do that, pay one. It's three, one for two. Sacrifice an artifact, gets plus one, plus one to one turn. And Instructable. Very, very good in the deck. These two would be good together. If you pulled this in your pre-release kit, run Netherborn. It's kind of already got in your hand there. This is artifact based. Could work together. He eats artifacts. This is an artifact. Gets reduced by artifacts. He pumps Netherborn, which he is. So, I don't know. A little bit of uh, synergy here. Let's see what else we get. Nether Revolt time. Crack open these packs. Let's see what we get here. <clears throat> Okay, so here's the uncommons. Buffs to artifact creatures. Could be black red. We could be black red. This guy's is good. And Whir of Invention. Ooh, and a foil snake. Snake is seeing a lot of play currently with the green black uh, tokens deck. So fun to see that. Yeah, Whir of Invention. Three blue X instant. Improvise. You can pay art. You can tap artifacts to produce mana. One mana for each artifact you tap. Search your library for an artifact. Put it in the play. Put it on the battlefield. Uh, it's instant speed. Great card. I like it. Very very good. Surprise your opponent at the end of their turn. And I'm usually a control player, so that's what I'm looking to do. All right. Next. Okay. Ooh, another snake to go with the 
the snake foil. This doubles counters when they're placed on things, basically. Yeah, so that's using the token deck. So, so far, I mean, we could be black green even at this point. Who knows? All right. Oop. Rish car. Seven or eight dollar card. Plus, plus one, plus one counters on your creatures. And those creatures with plus one, plus one counters can tap for a green mana. And he himself is a 2 2 legendary for a 3. Yeah, I think that with these cards, uh, we're looking at a green black deck. Rishgar has synergy because he puts plus one, plus one on the, on the other creatures. This doubles the plus one, plus one. This sacrifices artifacts to get plus one, plus one indestructible. Like, besides this one, but these four right here so far. Whew, that's a, that's a little bit of a synergy right there. Plus this one, sorry, synergy. That is synergy. They work all together. All right, here we go. I like this card, Death Touch. One mana, Death Toucher, always great. And Baral's Expertise. Return up to three creatures, maybe, and or artifacts. Creatures or artifacts, I think, maybe. Return up to three to the opponent's, uh, to the uh, player's hands, and you can cast a spell for four or less. I wish this was instant speed, but this is not. It says Deep Jung, that is focus. So, yeah, this is a sorcery card. So, if it wasn't a sorcery, man, that thing would be insane. Anyway, great in Commander. Great in Limited. <clears throat> Second favorite expertise for me. The black one being number one. Okay, here's the Uncommons. And we got Brawl himself. Wow. Look at that. Two mana for a 1-3. Your Sorceries and Instance cost one less. And whenever you counter a spell, you can draw a card and discard a card. I use this in the deck that I currently play as a standard deck. My main deck right now that I'm focusing on. And that is a deck that discards big-ass creatures, like the uh, Void Winnower. And you can resurrect it later. So I play blue-black typically these days. But also Esper. Yeah, but as far as value, uh, $2. I think it's $3 right now. I guess because people are using it in Commander or something. I don't know, maybe a dollar. Maybe a dollar. Maybe a dollar. Seven or eight dollars, good card. I don't know how much he is, no idea. Uh, maybe five dollars, he's an uncommon foil, but using a lot of decks, could be more. Maybe three dollars, nothing big, but good in the Synergy deck with the, with the Etherborns. Alright, so anyway, thanks for watching my video. If you liked the video, go ahead and click like. You can also subscribe, and you can click the bell on the right if you want to get notifications of more of the videos I release. I'll be doing more deck techs and more unboxings. So, I hope you watch my other videos. Thanks a lot, have a good day.